Exporters, get ready. There are some new opportunities that you need to take advantage of that can propel your products internationally. Welcome to Biz Talk, a series brought to you by the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce, Jamaica's business ministry, helping you mind your business. Let's head on over to the virtual studio with Minister Aubin Hill. Hello again, Minister Hill. Welcome back. Always a pleasure, Kalila. Good to well, be back. Today, today we are talking about exports, and I know this is a big thrust of your ministry. Tell me about some of the opportunities that are available for Jamaicans in the export market. Well, I know you spent a lot of time last week talking to Jampro about Export Max. Just want to say that we we really highlighted this a Jampro Expo event on the sidelines of the pen relays when prime minister and i were there we had five companies being exposed they were very good i mean across the board castor oil you have sweet potato pudding in the mix and a lot of other products teas and so on from shawbot it was really very good but what i want to focus on kalila comes from just looking at the trade data um even the recent ones last year or imports rose above 2020 by 25 percent. We're about 5.9 billion dollars in our imports. Our exports were up 15 percent, but substantially smaller than our imports naturally. So we're looking at making sure we export a lot more. Think about this: Jamaica has three million people. And we have a per capita GDP of about just under 6,000, about 5,000, not even 6,000. Singapore has 5.7 million people. Their per capita GDP on a purchasing power parity basis in 2019, 2020 was $82,000. Israel's with 9.2 million people was for about 42,000. Now you see the difference between them and us. Now I, the point I want to make is, Singapore didn't get that rich, and it's the third richest country in the world on a purchasing power parity basis for GDP. They didn't get that rich by selling to 5.7 million Singaporeans. They got that rich as a country by selling to a lot more people across the world. So if we are going to become a rich country, we cannot, simply cannot, sell to only 3 million Jamaicans or, or even the diaspora ones if we add them in later on. We need to sell to a world market that is much bigger, which means that we have to manufacture products here. We have to create and craft services here that people will buy. Frankly, if you think about crafting a service, we, the outsourcing service that we sell to people who want to be near shore to the United States is an export product. Mm -hmm. While we do the work here, the income is all in U.S. dollars. It was $900 million that he, last That's year. That's so interesting that you should mention that, Minister, because most people think of exports and they think of products, anyway. products that you ship, but services are also exports. Think of tourism, Kalila, uh, and your business of communications. My business, all too. If I put things on YouTube and earn YouTube and you earn and money revenue. And you haven't left Jamaica at all. So exactly. many people, many Jamaicans are earning a lot of money from the internet, and that's an export. The tourism business that Minister Ed Bartlett works so relentlessly and so effectively at is an export business. When they come here with their money, they buy our hotel rooms, they buy our food, they buy our entertainment, and all that is export. So we have to see exports in a different light than we've always seen it. Seen it. So I'm saying to you, and I've said it to the traders here, many of our people are traders, but they're capital rich. Think of what you can make and craft and create in Jamaica to sell to overseas people, and you don't have to leave Jamaica. You can become an exporter staying right here, but we must manufacture to sell. If we're ever going to be a rich country, we cannot sell to just 3 million people, and therefore we have to get a new focus 
on exports. But, you know, it's easier said than done for a lot of businesses, especially smaller businesses. They may want to export, but they don't know how to even get started, how to access those markets. So what support does the ministry offer? Jampro and the Jamaica Business Development Corporation work together well. Others of our agencies, JANAC, the CLA, work with them to make sure that they encourage, they help them sometimes. Very often what the help they need is financial advice or managerial advice. And very often the help that they need is also a financial investment. JAMPRO helps them, JBDC helps them, and the ministry also on a policy level is helping them. What I've done, Kalila, since I've been here is I've made sure that I've set up an export expert team. Why? In order to, to advise me in my plans to make export a really linchpin of our economic growth program. So if I'm going to be exporting, I have to have the expertise. So these experts are helping me. I'm now studying the trade data like a student. Because when I saw the kind of difference between our exports and our imports, and the imports are growing again because the tourists are coming back and a lot of what we sell them are imported. We need to see how we can produce for this natural export market right here at home through agriculture, agro-processing, storage of agricultural products. All these are businesses in the supply chain that moves from the ground where the farmers work to storage, to processing, to delivery at the hotels where the tourists come, all that being done in Jamaica. And we're working to make sure working with agriculture, working sometimes even with the Ministry of Health to make sure we're in a place where we're growing our exports. You're going to hear this from me ad nauseum, because if we don't grow those exports, we cannot get rich as a country. Well, I think that preempts my final question to you. I, I, I imagine that you're going to say a few of the same things, but I wanted to know what message would you like to leave with Jamaican exporters and potential exporters? The way to get rich as a country, the way to get rich as an individual company is to export to the best companies and the best economic region. It forces you to be efficient. It forces you to innovate. And it forces, therefore, the country to raise its productivity. And that's what we have to do to grow. The point is we must export to get rich. We will only remain poor if we don't raise significantly the amount of products and services that we export around the world to raise our per capita income, to raise our employment level, not just to raise the employment level, but to raise the payment, the salaries that our employees or Jamaican employees get. And we must export to get rich. There's no other way. Thank you so much, Minister. We'll talk again soon. This has been Biz Talk, brought to you by the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce, bringing to you key services and opportunities for Jamaica's business sector. I'm Kalila Reynolds. For more information, visit them on Instagram at Industry Ministry JA, on Twitter at MIIC underscore Jamaica, on Facebook at Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce, and on their website, MIIC.gov.jm. Also visit my website, KalilaReynolds.com, for a summary of this video and to subscribe to my newsletter. Let's get this money.